What we're going to talk about now is angle of approach. Now in the book we're talking about pre-swing ball position, but it all relates back to this circle of a golf swing that you're trying to make. So really what you're doing when you swing a club is it swings in a circle. Now actually it doesn't really swing in a circle, you swing back and on the downswing it actually elongates like this. But that oblong or circle has a low point. So angle of approach is about getting the club to come down, hit the ball and having the low point of the circle in front of the ball. It is not about hitting down on the ball. Hitting down is a really bad task to give your brain because then people try to lift and they try to hit down. That's not what you're trying to do. So, what happens to most people? There's the golf ball. What happens is you try to get the ball in the air because that's your concept. So what happens is your circle bottoms out early and you catch the ball coming up into the ball. What good players do is they actually move the low point of their swing so that it happens in front of the ball. So the club comes down, catches the ball, and then runs into the ground in front of the ball. That's what they're really trying to do. They're not trying to hit down. They're just making a circle and they're getting really good at judging what they call the bottom of their swing. So again, the task is not to hit down. The task is to get the circle of your swing to bottom out in the correct spot relative to the golf ball. When you make a swing, the club is going to swing up to the top. When you come to the ball, that circle is approaching the ground. You don't have to try to hit down. You have to judge the bottom of your circle to get the bottom correct relative to hitting the ball. The club face gets the ball in the air. So if you understand that, the task is bottom out your circle correctly, not hit down on the golf ball.